Hi guys, how you doing? So, at the beginning of every video, this will be implanted. Implanting things of how I'm trying to uh, dive deep into your subconscious memory. Okay, so tarot cards and stuff will start soon, but if people could literally please leave a timestamp below, so people can, when they see the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, if they've seen it, you can skip through it and then go to the reading, okay? But I very much would appreciate just a moment of your time. So one thing that I really do offer, and it's had great feedback, but it's constant it's constant stuff that comes to me okay so i'm going to teach you about a lot about vi vocabulary but a flair a flair but to focus to focus your energy and direct it to where you're truly supposed to be going of where i can dive deeper into your subconscious memory to literally trigger off the responses of where you find responsibility for one's own actions, okay? Now, a lot of this might seem very kind of physical, but it's physical and metaphysical. It's how we deal things with things in the actual physical that lead to the 3D response of time, which is still time, okay? It's the time of separation that you take where people can take from your subconscious memory and why that is so important and things that people are missing, okay? Because you end up missing in action and not realizing why retrograde still brings the same lesson around again when you think that you've got it, but then someone comes back for round three. 3D, okay, so why it happens in the 3D, because it's an energy tear and an energy flare of physics and also metaphysics, but it's also the response of a flare, so you can have a flare up, flare up and a tear up, but if you have a flare up and a tear up, you're tearing the time space continuum of the seven chakras that run through your body, so this is a lot of stuff that I will teach people about metaphysical and connection of where people still drain your energy psychically. So psychically, it's still projecting forward a focus of where I can focus my energy on your DNA coding system of obviously like the matrix, and it will break down that coding for me that will give it to me to give it to you. It triggers a response. What I've learned through a lot of these Skype call consultations is terms and conditions. It's where there is a term and there's a condition, but there's a condition that's pulled from me that gives it to you. Normally when I speak and I channel, I'm pulling it from you and it's an energy exchange, okay? It's, it's an exchange. So when we learn about energy exchange, it triggers off a response where I can figure out where your coding is of where people are going wrong, okay? But that also pulls it out from me where I learn just as much from you as what you do me. Because sometimes when I'm channeling, it gives you information that is also unlocking those secrets and those depths, depths of desire through Pandora's box. But the depths of desire of all the secrets that are locked away within the subconscious, it pulls them from me to actually give you a response of something that I didn't know myself. So it gives you the information as well as it gives me. So thank you, <laughs> you know, thank you. So I do really much appreciate that because all the people that have returned and people that I deal with on a physical level have had so much great response through how they're now responding to their own subconscious memory because it's fine tweaking your actual your own matrix system of where it will learn uh, hopefully teach you to focus your energy more on the sweet spot where you're unlocking the desire of pandora's box pandora's box does not hold one secret it holds many okay but that is locked and it's not locked down here it's locked in the subconscious memory okay so you will see things appear cards towards the end and it will give you another kind of affirmation or another thing of where I also kind of explain the same kind of thing but slightly differently but the client consultation of Skype calls and other things the exchange of empaths is so important of where trust me you are really missing the secret you're missing the secret and that's why I thought I would leave this on at the beginning for people because it's so important of the first step of what they're really missing and when they go away and you form the separation of oneself is where you end up coming back round for another fight and where it still comes back round as of another lesson with someone else because of a lot to do with what blame is but people think that blame is where you're just physically blaming someone 
there's a lot more depth to it than that. Trust me, there really, really is. But a lot of these secrets and stuff that I give to people will uh, require homework too, but it will give me a lot to give back to you, you know. So there's an exchange of, but um, it really will unlock those secrets of where people are seeking for the answer. It will give you the answer. Trust me, it will put you on your path much, much, much quicker, much quicker. So also over on Patreon, you might find some of these videos in tear where we tear up and we have tier two. Tier two is still a teaching segment that I offer certain videos as well, but there are certain things that I will only do in Skype consultations. Now a Skype consultation is just an equally and vitally important more because uh, what I'm saying, it helps me hit that spot of where you can't find it. That's why I dive into your subconscious memory that helps it dive into my subconscious memory that reflects it back from me to you, from me to you, from me to you. And we form a quality of a connection that is pulling secrets from me to give it to you and the secrets from you of where I can explore your dark side for you. <laughs> Scorpio Ascendant. But it pulls that dark side where I can explore your dark side of your subconscious memory that's here that pulls and draws the focus around so you can more focus on oneself of what we say. But self-worth comes in many forms, many, many forms that people miss. OK, but it will help you focus more on your third eye because people empathically, psychically pull from your third eye that pull you directly to focus it on them. That's the, that's the main part of what you miss. So I can help you balance your vision and help you balance your third eye that will draw balance back to you. It will draw what's meant for you back to you, okay? And to me, okay? So that's something that I offer. Taurus, hey, getting on. So we're here with your September, hey, getting on, Taurus. So I picked up uh, an actual song for you, and it was by Lethal Weapon 3, because I started to hear, do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you really wanna? <laughs> so hopefully you're not trying to skydive. You might be trying to learn to skydive or something, okay? Or trying to hopefully not jump from a building and think the people are Superman, I've got no idea. But hopefully it's like, do you wanna? Do you wanna? So do you wanna? So that was what I picked up through that. So whether that's to do with skydiving from a building, building or something I've got no idea whether you're constructing something but part of the lyrics in that song that stung that stung stung you might be stung but it's by sting so you might have a sting in your towel you could be dealing with a Scorpio possible but it said but part of those lyrics say no one <laughs> no one would see you you ask yourself who'd what who'd be watching for me my only friend who could it be it's hard to say it could be me Okay, so something like that. But please look up that song because I don't really know it myself. It's it's Lethal Weapon 3 soundtrack and it's by Sting. But someone might have a sting in the towel. But the person of self-reliance is looking after oneself. So it could be that. But let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for September. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for September. Taurus. So you've got a few cards. So you've got Strength 8, The Power of 8. The Power of 8. Listening to the outer realms of reality and realizing that there that someone's got your back. That's what I'm saying. Someone's got your back up. It could be Aries because Aries had this in their card. They did in their reading. Um, so this is um, someone's got your back up. Someone's got your back up, literally, or you've got someone's back. And uh, you've got Aries here. So you've got eights. I think they had a lot of eights. A lot of eights. But. Um, got your back up so a mother could have your back up or got your back so there's a family member or it's work it's literally because it's also there's a lot of public service so i feel like you've got a lot going on there's a lot going on <laughs> um but obviously a lot to do with work a lot to do with dynamics at work a lot to do to do with people getting your back up or i've got your back but it looks like your it, it really does relate to that song that it's mm. The fact that three is the magic number, okay, the magic number is the key to success of Pandora's box that some of you could have a desirable woman or desirable man or desire to actually be pregnant or that you actually are pregnant, okay. But this could be to do with work, of a working relationship of someone that you've met or could meet, but there's a hell of a lot of strength that someone's got. Someone's got a lot of strength, but you're actually gaining a lot of strength through this. Some of you could be gaining weakness you be like you might be feeling weak but you're gaining strength it's like i feel weak 
for this person or this person feels weak for me or weak <laughs> all the day eight days a week <laughs> uh, 30 days I picked up in a, uh, in only 30 days because it's on the screen I don't know why 30 days time 30 days time um, but there's a weakness that someone's got for Pandora's box also but for <laughs> desire of like someone could be like extremely good looking but they are also like weak at the knees <laughs> it's like weak at the knees you make me quiver weak at the knees you also make me str you also give me strength and i pull strength but i also lose strength at the same time it's like a will to live so some of you so that might be why i just metaphysically picked up on that so don't go jumping from a building <laughs> don't go skydiving oh well if you're going skydiving just i don't know but <laughs> but Diving. See, someone could be sorry, but I did hear muff diving. <laughs> I don't know why I heard that. <laughs> muff diving, muff diving. But it could be. But it's <laughs> this is like someone's having the strength of something that they know that they desire, but they're being desired after, after, afterwards, afterwards. Someone's being desired afterwards, like after. <laughs> after uh, a connection that you've got with someone there's more desire for more put it that way it's like a cry a cry for more so whichever way around it is if you're in a bad predicament there's a cry for more so if you're crying for bad more don't forget that the universe can hear you cry eight so what what are you crying for okay so the universe will hear you cry because it hears a call so it hears a cry so you are can either can cry or you're bottling up emotion or they are and it's keeping energy stuck but don't forget that a calling is outer realms of reality of eight so the universe hears you cry so it hears you cry for attention or it hears a call for attention but whatever it is that you think it's hearing it's hearing so someone could be hard of hearing <laughs> sorry i heard of hard of hearing hard of hearing where it's like i've been fucking telling you over and over again that i could be pregnant but you're just not listening or it's like i know you're there but you're but right behind me it's like they're right behind you <laughs> that feeling that metaphysical feeling is they're right behind you then this person's like yeah i know they are and i'm doing it on purpose <laughs> it's like i know they're watching and i'm right it's like someone's watching an aries could be <laughs> taurus as well possible but uh, Gemini possible but this is a lot of uh, public work public figure but also working on public <laughs> public <laughs> but um, yeah someone's got your back up at the same time as where someone like family members have got your back and you've got their back but someone's trying to get you back also. It's like a reflection, a mirror again. It's reflecting a mirror of trying to get one back. But be careful of what you cry for and what you wish for. Because the person will come back if you're thinking that you don't want them. That can lead to a lot of denial for a sexual connection that you've got with someone of physical appearance. But the appearance of pride, if you don't learn to cry and release the tension and the stress there, that can cause through a lot of power then what you're crying for is attention of another lesson of where the same person can come back around again in order to treat to sorry but you know that's what i'm picking up like a treaty is what i'm picking up a treaty a treaty forming an a reliance and a treaty so it's either for or against so that can relate to court or children but there's a for and against a for and against someone's for you and out for you but someone's against you at the same time that they're out for you it's like uh, <laughs> let's see I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, needing to stand up for one's self worth, but you've got the truth that's coming in. But the truth is an opportunity of whether someone wants to say it or not. That's why it can be a missed opportunity. This is handed to you from God, pretty much, to say, if you want to continue on, what do you reckon? A reckoning, awakening. It comes after the seventh day of rest. So then you get the eighth day here, eight. 
eight days a week. You know, there's not seven days in a week because time is linear. Okay, so when we discover about metaphysics, metaphysics will let you continue on the path of whether you want to reach out to them and continue the same way, depending on what's happened, or whether they want to reach out to you. If nobody reaches out to one another, that's the opportunity that's missed. Okay, but there's an opportunity here for truth, also at court, also at work, where someone is struggling at work by trying to keep someone's mouth shut. <laughs> Sorry, but someone's saying, shh, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> it might be because don't tell my mum that I'm pregnant. <laughs> that's not my brain, that's not my fault. Wherever there's blame, there's a claim, and if there's blame there, I'm claiming it. Trust me, I'm, cla I'm claiming it. So someone's like, listen, I'm claiming you. <laughs> you are mine. Come on down. What's a hot spot and what's a hot spot not? Michael Barrymore. <laughs> Michael Barrymore. Come on down. Come on down. Someone's got a hot spot and they're tweaking the desire of someone. Desire. The spot. Someone's hitting the spot and someone's hitting out. Someone's lashing out. Someone's trying to keep someone's mouth shut because they know that if they say something, it's going to put someone's back up and they're going to end up closing down. So that also represents to a business, as what I'm also picking up, is like, if I say something, I'm going to close down. Close down. Emotionally, I'm going to close my shop. I'm going to close my business down. Because for some of you, there's this person that's caught in between these two people here. You've got three of the strongest major arcana cards out. <laughs> You've got the Empress and the Emperor, which are counterparts, right? But they're apart. It's like they're together here, but there's an apart energy here. Also represents strength in order to break through boundaries of reality of, of uh, anything toxic in your life. So that would relate to a lot of public service of the tax man <laughs> being taxed and taxing of one's energy, but also a drain and a strain to society where it leads to a path of denial of family members. Of what I'm saying about the Pandora's box, it doesn't just heal <laughs> you, it heals you. <laughs> when you've got a soul urge number of eight and you've got a life path number of seven, trust me, you're interconnected. <laughs> you're connected. So if you have, you yeah, have, it depends what you've got, but someone's got something. It's like, oh, <laughs> someone's caught something. Or someone wants to court you. Or court you. Stem cells is also what I'm picking up. Like, I don't know why. Like, caught something. Like, they've picked up and contracted something, but or, or contracted an actual energy of something. They've, they've contracted, see strength can be um, obviously a mirror, there's a mirror of like pff, temptation, right? But temptation, you can never run here, there's someone that runs from responsibility, okay? This person runs, it's like a rabid dog, if you look at a rabid dog, not calling Leo, blah blah blah, no, energy. If you look at someone that's snarling at you, okay? So if you look at it as a cat, if a cat is about to attack you, it will attack you if you keep prodding it, if you leave it alone, Leave the matter. What can the matter be? If you leave it be and don't prod it, it won't attack you. But if you do things on purposely to draw one's attention, it will draw itself attention of again of of trying to seek attention in the wrong manners. Okay, because there's a lot of manners. <laughs> Someone's got a lot of manners, and someone might not have a lot of manners. Because there's a face off. There's a face off of energy, definitely counterparts of a counter reaction. Doesn't mean it's my life partner. It just means at this particular time of this energy substance is causing a reaction to a response. Cause and effect. There's an effect of someone's cause. Someone, if you do things for yourself and you work for yourself, someone might not like the fact that you work for yourself and it could be a mother or a family member. The fact that you don't, they don't like you being independent or it might be a child and you, they're growing up quickly and you're thinking, fucking hell, they're growing up quick. Right? But um, there's there's a cause and effect between somebody or family members that are some moon rising Venus that they're they're, they're going to think and you're going to think and yeah it's them and it's you and it's there and it's there's a blame game and then people are going to be watching of some moon rising in Venus and they're going to be saying yeah that's the person that's in between this person me and them you see us and them society so it's there's a cause and effect of where it's a ripple effect as well ripple effect let's see.
go. So yeah, wow. Someone's really trying to now. Wow, there's a lot of power, power here. So, um, I mean, also look into different aspects of your signs. Also, you know, it depends where it is in your sign. Um, but there's a lot of power. There's a lot of power. Someone's really trying to manifest something. Me, I've got Taurus descendant. You see, but regardless of that, depends how it plays out. I, there's always going to be dynamics in life. But this person, regardless, is trying extremely hard, extremely hard to to give over one's attention to the universe, to, to also say, the ball is in your court. The ball is in your court. So I relate to the tennis match thing that I'm also showing people as well. The tennis match, the crown chakra, someone's really manifesting stuff into their life, but if you're seeing this magician as a manipulative energy, someone's really trying to control energy because there's a lot of control, okay? So one is either trying to control their own energy and they're stable because they are honest, open, and they are full of desire and truth and they have equality of giving back, okay? This is still an energy that's felt or maybe not seen, okay? Because it's, it's, it's Archangel Michael's truth. It's the sword of truth, meaning that the, the, the truth of this sword on here is pure. So someone's mind is pure, but because if this ends up being a manipulative energy and you're on the other end of the scale of certain things, then there's a lot of power here that someone holds in their hand that this magician could not be, it could be a controlling energy because you've got a lot of controlling energies, a lot of it, a lot of it. So it depends, it depends. Um, because it's it, the first card out is strength, you know, the first card out is strength. And there's a lot of, someone's got a lot of strength, strength. But if you're giving your power over free willingly to somebody and you're like in a, interconnected with them, okay, interconnection. If you're interconnected with someone and it's bad, then you're free, willing, free willingly giving your power over to them to say that they've got a lot of power. Oh, they've got so much power, okay? You're, you're free willingly giving your uh, energy to that person, okay? So it will be... Uh, much strength of realizing that the power is only held within your own hands, okay? Because you can give over your power to desire of thinking that people are doing witchcraft. If they are, they are. I wouldn't give power over to it, but your you, people are on their own desirable paths of. But that is a possibility because there's a lot of power that's being drawn and drawn away. It's like come to me it's like come to me come to me come to me but if that's done in a manipulative energy where someone's really trying to manipulate the energies and they're doing it in the wrong manner be careful what you wish for if you're doing it in the right manner okay the right manner and you're forming a quality that's a very good quality to have different people different timelines it really does depend if you're free and you're single this could be someone that you meet but if you're not free and single and you are with someone that's interfering with your energy then you're going to know and it'll help you break down what timeline you're at because it's going to really flare up the energy of your response of how you're going to want to respond to this video or how you're going to want to respond altogether. If you're single and you're independent and you work for oneself, this person here, this could just relate to you, that, that has enormous amount of strength because it's a lot to do with the power that's held within one hand that everything's being drawn to this person also. It's the energy of eight here, okay, here, is here, here. So there's a lot of power that's being held out here that's willing to come back, to come back. So if you want someone to come back and they're coming back, then it's because you want them to come back, but you're putting out that energy of power, okay? So if they're like a powerful, like, pff, and they chuck piss to a fire or something, if that's what people do, I've got no idea. It depends how things are going to be clarified. Um, but... If uh, if someone is single, because this would be a single person, we all are because it's we all have a root number of one. Okay, we all do. Um, so it's so above, so below. So someone is drawing attention to themselves, either in a good manner or in a bad manner. It really does depend. Okay, but if this is a really good manner, this person can help. This is help. It is because it's help. You know, it's help. 
is a helpline <laughs> that I do also offer via Skype, but this is a helpline, it's a lifeline also, a lifeline of energy, of truth, to be spoken or said or to be reached out for, because it also means communication, which means telephones, interdirectories, you know, connection, psychic connection, but it would also mean paperwork, physical work, homework, all that kind of stuff, okay? Let's see. But this won't, this won't relate to like everybody. Wow, they see this person's single. This person is single and ready. It's like, are you ready for any? Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is also parts of attention still for a lot. So I have to relate this to everybody if you're going through different timelines, okay? This person, if they're single, is great for you, okay? Is great for you. Because you're drawing natural. This is naturally, naturally, it can be, okay? Natural, natural, supernatural. <laughs> My favourite television show. It's actually ended, right? Or going to be, season 15. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn shame what it did to that dog. <laughs> Coming to America, right? But, um, damn shame. You know? Shame, um, shame... That's what I'm picking up. Blame and shame. Shame me once, blame on shame on you. Blame me twice. <laughs> yeah, the same, right? Because someone's someone's also saying, "Damn, I missed that opportunity." And this person now, you've got a new opportunity with this new person here. If you have one, this person is going to have their backup, and this is why you're going to have strength. <laughs> This is why you have to have strength to break away this chain, this chain of events here that's happened or happening, okay? Whatever that is, is going to take strength to break this chain here. But strength doesn't need a lot because you don't give it attention, okay? If it's bad attention, people that work extremely difficult and hard for things, some people can get very frustrated when it doesn't come in because they're living in the present tense of thinking that they actually have to work for time. Time works for yourself when you learn to work with it, okay? So time will work for you when you're free, single, independent, okay, and desirable. But um, also, um, it's like time is working in someone's favour, but time is working out of someone's favour. It's like... Uh, Muse, so it could be someone's muse and love music and all that kind of stuff, but muse, time is running out for this, well, maybe, for some of you, for this person, maybe. Time is running out, I can't push it on the ground. Oh, I should love that song. Pushing it underground. Someone's pushing it underground. Someone's doing, like, planting... They're planting seeds, man. Someone's planting seeds in the subconscious, but they're also planting seeds. Or they're doing health. Me at the moment, I don't know about you, but do you guys use spiritual armor or anything like that and herbs? I'm really looking into cooking at the moment, but cooking with herbs and spiritual armor and uh, grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is fantastic. Grapeseed oil. And it's actually better. That it's got higher content than grapes, uh, like uh, blueberries and stuff. Grapeseed oil. But, um, yeah, loads of different things. Like this could be cooking herbs or actually planting herbs or actually growing your garden. How does your garden grow? <laughs> Someone's out of Greece too, man. <laughs> Someone's out of Greece too. Well, I'll grease your engine as someone's saying, listen, I'm ready to go. Someone's ready to travel as well. Travel to see you or you them and they're like ready to go. It's like, wow, I'm getting ready to go. But, you could be saying it to this person energetically. I am getting ready to go. Or I have gone. It's like, poof, I'm gone. <laughs> it's like, whoop, I'm here. Then, poof, whoop, I'm gone. <laughs> One minute you're here, and the next minute you've disappeared. Don't disappear into space, bruv. Don't disappear into space, because you'll, you'll uh, break the time-space continuum. Because <laughs> you'll have a rerun, maybe, for some of you. This is like quantum physics, metaphysics, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, 
Yeah, don't disappear missing in action. Some of you want to, some of you are missing out on action and some of you are like desiring action or like you're missing in action but you're single ready for action. But some of you, like this person's missing out on the action. That you've, you've got different people, action, response, counter reactions. You know, this can be a flare up of where one's realized that it makes them flare up and they're like, I can't even deal with anybody that makes me flare up. Anybody that makes me flare up, I need to look after my health and my own well being. Now, my own self worth, my own well being, my own desires, and my own dreams. Okay, because dreams to remember. I got dreams, dreams to remember. I got dreams. I give you my life. So some of you could be pregnant and you've given birth. Birth. Birth to a new idea or birth rebirth or actual birth or you want to give birth and you're actually seeking out like a good partner that could be a good father or mother but would be a very reliable person if these energies are very well presented or good the energy the person's health here could be very very good Because they're maintaining their garden, <laughs> but, but they're also maintaining themselves. It's like their own garden of growth, you know. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to leave that there at the moment. All the links, like I said in the beginning video, all that sort of stuff. There are people to follow. All the end cards will start to appear soon. Disappear or appear. Boop, I'm gone. I'm here again. <laughs> okay. So that's there. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw some more cards here and then clarify everything to really look into depth of your subconscious memories to see what a lot of this is about. But it won't pertain to everybody. But we're going to see what's going to happen with the rest of your September. Okay, guys. Hopefully see you on one of the links below. It will also be in the... Um, uh, over on Vimeo in the monthly folder. Okay, all right guys, I'll see you again soon. Peace.